All right, YouTube. This is me with Truck 990, and this is the final video of my own tutorials before I get to do. Before if I have more time on me, I'll get to do um, individual like moves, except top rocking and, free, and foot working. Unless there's CCs, I'm gonna do that. Unless I do individually kind of moves for uh, break dancing. So basically, the power moves is. Um, your windmills are power moves, back spins are power moves, and basically when you're not doing your uh, stylistically, you're basically being athletic about it. Like air flares is one of it's like most commonly seen power moves, which I barely see a lot. I do see a lot, but I can't do that because I've been trying to get air flares for a while. I'm not gonna teach you air flares because I gotta practice that first. But however, I am gonna do flares, I'll do windmills. There's jackhammers, crickets, everything other power moves I know of. But the basic ones you should know would be windmills and uh, crickets. So from starting off, I'm going to do a, wind, a basic windmill. So you know how it is, but it's kind of like some people say it's hard. Well, it is hard depending how you could get down to it. If you do like your footwork, like right here, and then you just go there that's easy but when you do from standing up like this that's the hard part now I'm going to do it like with low and I would do it when you go on standing up start off here's what you do first your first thing is your freeze arm right your power arm freeze my right you stand it on your stomach right this time then you can go from here. So you get, this is how you can start off by here. Now I see this time my legs are white out. Now you bend down and you're gonna turn over, but you're not see it from. You can see my head from here. My um, fingers are gonna point away from my toes. So when from here, they're pointing in between my toes and my legs. Now I'm going to swing, they're pointing away. So when they're pointing away, you're going to lift up. And you see my leg that's bended? That's, my, that's, what, that's what I'm going to swing with. So I'm going to swing down here. And now you got to get to this. You're down here. This is called round tables. I call that. Now, when you go here for your full rotation, you get back up here. So I'm going to do that again. Right here. Go from here. And then you do over again. Sorry about that. I kind of did mess up right there, but yeah, it's kind of basically just do it over and over and over again. With the same how I did it when I showed you guys how you get to it when you do it on the floor. Now, I'm going to do it when you're going to stand up. So, the one I showed you guys. That's the hard. That's the hard one to do. Cause now, cause you're not going to your, to your position. Like you're not gonna get to that. Once you go up, you're going straight down like this. So I'll show you. From first, try to get some momentum out of you. Like most power moves, I know. When you do this, they do. They make their power, like power side, like made my right here. And then they go down here, right? This is when we see this, you know they're gonna come out doing with a power move. Or they get fake power move. But most likely they could do a power move. So from here, go here. See my right is going up. My left is my left arm is down, my right leg's up. Here, I'm gonna put my now when I go from here, this is going in. So once so I'll show it again. Here this now when you do that instead of now when you're going up like that and your right arm once your right arm hits on the on the floor right you're gonna bend it down and you're gonna swing hard as you can to get to your round tables I'll show you how it's done so here one two three 
So here's how. So I'll show that again, but step by step. Here, one, two. So once I get to two right here, my right arm goes down. That's three. So once you get there, you can just get. To, now that's when you get when you get down from that uh, coin drop away. As I say, you can go, and once you get down, you can, you can do how you your first time. Sorry. Sorry about that. I need right now. So, so, once you get down on that, you can go over how you do when you're on the floor. So now, that's my, that's windmills. Now I'm gonna do, sorry about that again. Now I'm gonna do crickets. how you're gonna do crickets. So it's gonna be kind of the same as how you're gonna do a windmill, but instead your legs gonna show forward. I'm very sorry about that. It's very windy today. I'm outside so now from right here you can still do the same thing what you're gonna do with windmills but instead your legs touching the floor it's gonna be above the floor like six inches above the floor at best. So so what you do, your fingers are going to point, your fingers are going to point between your legs. Then, here, try to end it up like this. Yeah, I should show you how a cricket is done before I'll just teach you step by step. So this is a cricket. So as I said, when you bounce, the fingers is gonna point right back at your toes, or your, between your legs. So that's when you do it again, and you bounce. So it's kind of like that sequence. You spin, bounce, spin, bounce, spin, bounce. That's the whole way to do a cricket. Now, so to finish it off, right here in this video, I'm gonna do a combination of my windmill to get to crickets. Now, okay, so here it goes. The final, the final demonstration of video of windmills and crickets. I'm gonna put them both together. And then once this is done, uh, if I get time, I'm gonna do individual moves to break dancing. So, I'm gonna do it from standing up and windmills. So, So yeah, that's my tutorial of power moves of windmills and crickets as an example of power moves. This is my whole tutorial in general of breakdancing. So sometime maybe a week or two, I'm gonna show individual moves like flares, barrels, baby mills, anything I could do, I will do everything to teach you about that. So peace out YouTube. So please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, to my channel. Much love for you guys. Peace.